somewhere. It's also, uh, it helps me be more social. <laughs> Rather than being stuck, you know, at home doing nothing. Cosplaying is basically getting together a costume and becoming the role of a character while you're in that costume. You either buy or make a costume and attend an event of your liking. You pick a character you like and you dress up as that character. You attend this event and you go and you have fun. To me, cosplaying means getting to get out of your own skin for a while and portray someone else. But it's really just kind of channeling your love for that character into acting like that character, dressing like that character. In the past, I've cosplayed um, John Egbert, Dave Strider, uh, Kanaya from Homestuck, Revolutionary Girl Lieutenant, Anya from Anastasia, Tombo from Kiki's Delivery Service, Corpse Party, I did Naomi, I'm working on another character named Clear right now, I've done Nepeta, Jade, and I've done Arania. Does uh, Where's Waldo count? Because I did that. Uh, I start. I usually start out by drawing out a pattern on like newspaper or taking some old patterns, modifying them. First, I will search endlessly online for things that are already made that I can buy. I like to take a lot of creative liberties with things I like to design. And I have the wrong color coat, but I've been wearing it anyway. And uh, slowly it comes together. I have a weird process. I mean, cosplay is it's kind of about accuracy, but it's also about having fun. People, people really like it when you're in character and you talk to them in character. I kind of adopt, like, I guess, voices and mannerisms for the characters. I practiced, like, cat puns for weeks before I was Nepeta. I definitely enjoy the acting more because the creation can be complete torture sometimes. The night before Comic-Con this year, I hadn't styled the wig yet, and it was maybe 12 hours until I had to leave for the con. And here I am, I'm, like, standing in the bathroom over there, I'm like, Oh, does it look good like this? Oh, I could put this up over there. I ended up just kind of like doing something in the front and that was it. I never understood like really bullying people who aren't as good at cosplay because my first cosplay was awful. And you only get better from that. I've gotten hate for a character I'm dressed up as by somebody before and it just, it ruins your day. Who cares if someone hasn't read every single issue of Batman? If they want to dress up as Catgirl, let them dress up as Catgirl. We have to be a community, we have to stick together because half the time people think it's weird enough that we're going out in these costumes. Like It's it's all for fun. You don't have to be up to par with everyone's standards on the costume. You have to be up to par with your standards on the costume. It's not about elitism and being better than the next person. It's about showing that you love characters, it's about community. As long as you yourself are having fun, you shouldn't let anybody else really tell you that you're not. My favorite part is the friends that you have and that you make at the conventions and the people you meet. When you're making friends, there's always that struggle of finding a common interest between the two of you, but when you're cosplaying from the same thing, you already have the common interest and there's already something there for you guys to talk about. Because you know, when you're making it and you're worrying and you're doubting and you're sewing at three in the morning the day before the con and then it comes out great and you get to show someone and somebody else likes it, that's like, I feel like I'm sharing with the community in a way that I wouldn't normally be able to. It's relaxing for me and the work that I put into it, the people who, you know, give me hype over the work I put into it and having fun with my friends in our own way because we're all a bunch of big nerds. Cosplay is just me having fun.